core circuit over here, we, went, we mainly want to focus on their back rolls because they, they are very familiar with the stations that we have here setting up, set up for them. So if you, you can be around here assisting kids, that would be great. Um, they're going to do their back rolls. They're going to sit on the mat first, prepare their hands, uh, shoulders go back, they lean on their toes and push the head off. Then over here, they're doing some, uh, the same exact thing, but now their head needs to be sticking off the mat and their palms touching the floor. So it should look something like this. Head off the mat, hands on the floor, and they come up. And again, hands on the floor, head off the mat, and then they push, come up. If they can actually push over, they can bring their feet over, then they can do that. Without their head touching the floor, it might be a little bit difficult, but they can still work on it. Um, here they're going to hold the ring back above their head, standing right behind the gray line. They're going to do their candlestick and then place the beam bag on the barrel, grab the beam bag again, little stick, place it on the barrel, that's so they can get up without using their hands. Here they're doing the teeter totters with their heel drive and shoulder trainer. If you have kids that can already do a really nice teeter totter, then you can have them start doing their toe touches. Lunch, touch, lunge. Sorry, I meant teeter totter. So teeter totter, touch, teeter totter, finish. And then over here, they will work on their bridges. So, butt close to the mat, hands flat on the floor, lift their hips up. If they can do that without doing this, and keeping their hands flat, elbows in, next to their ears, then maybe they could try pushing up into a bridge and down. Have them hold this for 10 seconds, and then please include at least two rocking rolls when they're doing this station. So over here in our bar circuit, on the trampoline, um, I drew boxes. So I drew boxes next to each other, parallel to each other, across of each other, and then diagonally. So here they're mainly working on their body awareness, and they're starting in one box with their arms down. When they jump to the other box, they're, they're raising their arms up. So they're doing this, and then again, this. Once they understand this arm movement, maybe they can start doing it consecutively without a pause. So just moving from up, down, up, down, 10 times. Then they go, they come to two boxes that are across each other, arms down, they jump to the box, bringing their arms up, jump back, arms down. Jump forward, arms up and back, up and back. And then over here, they do that diagonally. So again, arms down, they jump to cross, down. Down. 10 times each. Here, this is an assisted station. It's a combination of all the drills that we have going around here. So you want to make sure that you include these drills so they understand what a pullover is supposed to look like and feel like. Have them start with their head above the bar if they're short tell them to pull, hold their body up. Then bring in their toes to the ceiling and finishing front sport. Here they're working on their Modified pullovers, feet on the red cheese mat. They're pushing the head above and down. If you have kids that can hold this for at least five seconds, have them kick their feet up to the ceiling. Here, uh, make sure no one flips over because pullovers should be assisted. Even if they could do a pullover on their own, have them work on this anyway. And by this, I mean keeping their head up, bringing their toes to the flight, and kicking up. At least getting their hip level. Trying to get their hips leveled with the bar. And then this station over here, they're going to hook their knees over, hold the bar, lift their chin above the bar, then push their hips up and come down. Push their hips up and come down. And if they can actually push it all the way up, have them bring their toes over their head. And then over their head, come down. Uh, that 